Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the need to love and to be loved. So I'm Dr. J.K. Hairston. I am a child, adolescent, and adult psychiatrist, and I teach empathy as a skill. I really believe that empathy is a skill that practically everyone can learn and that is actually really important, right up there next to breathing, that you know how to give and receive empathy. So I'm really excited because I just published my first book. Here it is. It's called Empathy, Not Sympathy, How to Stop People and Their Emotions from Hijacking Your Power. I really love how this book came out because it really talks about the importance of empathy. So pick up my book. The link is below and you can get your copy and really get a better idea of what we're talking about. So drawing from this, in this book, I put a list of needs. So in my previous videos, we talked about needs and this book gives explanation of needs. And in the back, there's the top 25 needs, 25 really important needs. And so I'm gonna talk about one of them today and that's the need to love and be loved. All right. So first of all, what are needs? Needs are universal conditions we need to feel satisfaction within ourselves. We are the subject of our own lives. We are having a subjective experience. And so we have different things that we need in order to feel happiness and satisfaction and contentment. And the major one of those is to be loved, to give love and to receive love. So when I'm talking about love, there are different types of love. There's a love between friends, there's a love between romantic partners, there's a love between parents and their children. There's the love you have for, you know, your pets. There's different types of love. And so the need for love is tied to the need for appreciation and to be known and to just to fill this connection, this connection to someone, to some other living person, living being. And so this connection that we have is, it gives us value. This need to be loved, this need to love and be loved. We have the propensity to give service to people, to do things for other people, to express our appreciation, our love, our gratitude. So when we do this, and another person reciprocates, it feels really, really good. It is just a really high sense of satisfaction to have that reciprocal experience. And that reciprocal experience is very much needed. It's very much needed to be able to have satisfaction, but also to grow, to learn, to feel safety, security. So many needs are tied to this need for love and to be loved. And so many conflicts so much dissatisfaction, just the pain and angst in our lives come from when these relationships go haywire, when the relationships are, when there are miscommunications, when there's um, lack of trust, so many things. And this is when we see a lot of pain and uh, pain expressed through people's behaviors. So a lot of violent situations are actually domestic violent situations. And that comes from disruptions in, in people being able to express love and to receive love. So that's at the far end of the spectrum. So let's look closer back at the beginning where what can we do or what things can we learn to express love better, to receive love better. And the first thing we can do is sit down with ourselves and to give ourselves empathy about our needs. Because so often our needs are met in ways that we don't typically expect. Um, we'll often see that a complete stranger can meet our need for love when sometimes someone really close to us, like a parent or, or a child, cannot. And we wonder, why is this? And it's because we are placing expectations upon the people we have relationships with. And these expectations um, become very intense. These intense expectations where if someone doesn't satisfy our need for love, we feel a lot of pain, a lot of disappointment. So one way of reducing that stress is not to place those expectations and to understand that we can receive love from all different places, from all different people, in all different circumstances. And that actually we can experience love practically at all times, but we need to develop our capacity to experience love. 
So first of all, to do that, you need to give empathy to yourself. You need to broaden your capacity to experience love and to receive love. And you do that by learning to love yourself. Because when you learn to love yourself, you can learn to forgive easier. And when you once you learn to forgive easier, then the mistakes that other people make won't be as loom as large. They won't seem as huge or dramatic. When, once you learn to love yourself and understand that things happen, people make mistakes, there are miscommunications, and things do go wrong in relationships. A couple of steps to learning to love yourself and to um, sit with yourself in empathy. I have outlined several of these steps in my book. So once again, empathy, not sympathy. How to stop people and their emotions from hijacking your power. But what I can tell you now is to sit down, quiet place, get a, a sheet of paper and really ask yourself, what is it that you need? What is it that is going well? What is it that's not going well? You don't have to start big and deep and heavy, but start lightly, small things. What are your small frustrations? And then start with your small frustrations. What are the source of those? Do you need more integrity? Do you need more uh, acknowledgement? Do you need more appreciation? Really get at what the needs are. Do you need more love in your relationships? And then you can start figuring out, okay, how am I gonna go about this? How am I gonna go about getting more love? And you can actually develop plans and strategies to be able to fulfill your needs for love and understand that it doesn't always have to come from a romantic partner that you can show love for your friends. And there are really nice book, talks about the six ways of giving and receiving love is through giving food, receiving food, giving gifts, receiving gifts, and speaking in confidence and sharing confidence with others. Those are six different expressions of love that we can share with people, that we can do things for them and we can, and when you open your heart and start doing things for other people and sharing parts of your lives with other people, then you will see that some people are going to be really receptive. Other people may not be, but if you concentrate on the people that are receptive, then you can now start developing friendships and relationships based upon mutual giving and receiving and develop being a loving attitude. So here are some of my thoughts on loving and being loved and I hope that you can find them useful and please post any your thoughts in the comments below and then we can address them and we'll have a dialogue going so i appreciate your time i appreciate you all checking out my new book and see you in the next video